We're getting reports from emergency managers in northeast Oklahoma and especially Delaware County of a tornado on the ground in Kansas, Oklahoma, and also significant damage in southern Delaware County. Uh, let's go to Max 5 Live Doppler Radar. We're looking at a well-defined hook echo on Max 5 Doppler Radar, and we're also looking at a circulation on the ground in southeast Delaware County moving in towards western Benton County. Again, this Gentry at 951. Actually, right now, the rotation is right here. So this is, the, this is the, the rotation in the storm. The tornado will move northeast in this direction. It will pass north of Springtown and north of the Hypho area, getting in towards Centerton. We have a new update. Go ahead. Um, west on Highway 412, at the end of 412, Rocky Ford, houses, trees, and cars. It's blown up. Roz, houses, trees, and houses cars on Highway 412 near Rocky Ford. At the end of 412, west, Rocky Ford area. Okay, and this is coming to us from the storm spotters that are in that area. So we'll put a mattress over your head. Uh, and get in the hallway until the storm comes through. And you can turn the TV all the way up. We'll talk you through it until the storm danger is passed. The hail core is going to pass north of Centerton. So some of you folks in Bentonville and Centerton on the north side of town will see a lot of hail before the tornado hits. And again, the tornado is three east of Decatur, and that's the last report from storm spotters. And that matches up exactly with what we're seeing on a Max 5 live Doppler radar with the five. The cleanup process is now underway after a tornado ripped across Benton County. More than 100 homes were damaged or destroyed. Well, Bridget, here in Bentonville, I am standing right in the middle of the hardest area hit. It is the College Place subdivision, to be more specific, on Georgetown Street. Down this road, there are about nine homes that have extensive damage, some of them so badly damaged that they are unlivable. Some Five News meteorologist Brad Flickinger is live in Bentonville with a look at the view from the air. Brad. That's right, Bridget. Now here on the ground, we're seeing uh, some extensive damage. You can certainly see that behind me, and we did take a view from the air this morning. Let's go ahead and roll the video and show you what we found. Now, the first part that you see of this video, this is in Benton County, and likely this is on the western sides of Bentonville to the east of Centerton. What you're looking at is mainly a lot of snapped and uprooted trees, and you can certainly see some roof damage right there. And as we get further into Bentonville, that's pretty much what you're going to notice is a lot of the houses and the walls are intact. Act, but mainly we're looking at roof damages. Emily Bridget, it's very severe here in in Little Flock on 13th Street and near Little Flock Drive. Now you can really see the path that the storm took in Little Flock. Just look behind me. The storm really came through here, destroyed this home. home homeowners are still trying to, to pick, it, pick it up, put it back together, and make sure nothing else is destroyed in it. Powerful tornado ripped through Benton County, of course, last night. We've been telling you about it all during the newscast, but a lot of weird things happen in tornadoes. And the first video we're going to bring you is something very strange. We call them tornado oddities sometimes. It's stuff you don't always see. This is a Snapple bottle that was impaled through a fiberglass part of a bathtub. Notice the bottle didn't break, but it was stuck in there pretty good, about, about three or four inches all the way through. And we're looking at winds at about 150 miles an hour to do that. Incredible damage coming out of the Centerton area. Also yesterday, meteorologist George Flickinger, he was out tracking the storm in northeast Oklahoma and southeastern Kansas. Let's check in with George. George, we have some of the photos that you shot from earlier today. Tell us a little bit about what happened yesterday and some of the pictures that we're looking at. All right, Garrett, uh, that's right. As far as the tornadoes yesterday, certainly a very active day across northwest Arkansas, northeastern Oklahoma. By the way, Garrett, you were pointing out damage. I want to point this out uh, to you uh, before we go to the pictures. This was sticking out of the ground. This is how people get hurt in tornadoes. This is just a simple, small piece of wood, but this was stuck in the ground. Just imagine this blowing 100 or 150 miles an hour coming straight at you. That's how people get injured and killed in tornadoes. 5 News Matt Splett reports one family in Centerton is counting their blessings to being alive. We were all downstairs in the living room. Michael Stevens says a television reports caught his attention. A tornado was on the ground, headed straight for his rural Centerton home. My wife and kids were in here. Stevens huddled his family of eight in this closet. When the power went out, we jumped in here and I was basically on my knees and I just closed the door behind me. When the tornado passed, Stevens crawled through this two foot hole only to discover his two-story house was destroyed. There's no back of the house left. The twister scattered memories for miles. Here's two of my kids. Those are my oldest two. Flinging keyboards into the rafters, wrapping mattresses around trees, sending this baby crib airborne, yet leaving these magnets still stuck on the fridge. Michael Stevens says his family escaped the tornado without a scratch. You know, I'm just glad the family's safe. 
That's that's the first thought. You know, all the kids were safe, nobody got hurt. Stevens was set to close on selling his house this week. Instead, he'll spend his days collecting what's left of his home. The Lord works mysterious ways, and we'll move on. Matt Splett, KFSM 5 News.